Hello, good day and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I will show you how to access string data in Aspen Plus, right? So now in Aspen Plus, we have three types of streams. We have the material stream, we have the work stream, and then the heat stream, right? So all of them can be found in the model palette, right? The model palette below. You have the material stream, the heat stream, and the work stream. If you are following my cursor by the left of my screen, you can see three of them, right? So for the um, work and heat stream, the heat stream is for energy requirements of um, maybe heaters, right? Heaters, coolers, then reactors, right? But for the work stream is for um, equipment that can do work or equipment that work can be done on, right? Like the compressors, compressors, the pumps, right? So you make use of the work stream, right? So all of these streams can actually, you can actually get stream data from all of them, right? So the question is how are you able to actually assess the data you really want from the simulation environment, right? And that is the essence of this particular tutorial. Now, now, there are three ways to actually access your data. The first is to click on that stream and open it, right? So, to click on a stream, all you need to do is double click on it, right? You left click on it twice, right? So, for material stream, for example, um, let's use um, this methanol stream, right? Methanol stream. If you double click on it, it opens, right? So, once you double click on it, yes, it opens and you have this, right? So this particular section of the stream is called the input environment. Here you have to input your um, um, process conditions in the case where the stream is your feed stream, right? In this case, this particular stream is a product stream. So you don't need to input anything. The software does all the calculations, right? So for example, this is our feed stream, right? So this is our feed stream and our feed stream has data inputted, right? But the product stream does not have any data in it so now back to the navigation pane so for this stream now this feed this product stream in order to assess the stream results you click on results right in that um, navigation pane section by the left you can see my cursor you click on results and you are able to assess your information your stream information right so if you scroll down you will see the properties of the stream properly and then the flow rate as well right so you have the properties of the stream and then you have your flow rates right so you can see that it is methanol that is present in this particular stream right so this is one way to actually do it double click on that particular stream even if it's the work stream double click on it right you double click on it and you are able to get details of that particular stream right same as the um, heat stream right the heat stream so once you double click on it you are able to get information about it right so this is the i think this is the heat duty of this particular um is it a heat or a cooler now okay so it's a it's a cooler right so that's the heat duty right the heat duty so you get details about the stream by double clicking on it left clicking on it twice right so that's the first step or the first uh, method to actually assess stream results the second is to click on the equipment right click on the equipment double click on the equipment for example if you want to see stream results that are pertaining to this particular separator you left click on it twice you double click on it and then okay for this equipment this is the input section as well right so let me open my navigation pane properly so this is the input section so streams and equipment have their input section and then they also have their stream results section so you go to the stream results of the equipment right and you are able to access stream data right? so this is the stream data that pertains to this particular equipment so you have the um inlet and then the outlet right so the first is the inlet stream and the second is the outlet and you can see their properties right all at once 
right both the properties the process conditions and then the flow rate you can get all of that information here right another method to assess um stream information is to actually get all of the stream information in one particular sheet right and this can work by scrolling down your navigation pane and uh, you scroll down to your navigation pane and then you click on streams yes under results summary yes you look for results summary under results summary you should find it like this yes yes okay yes you should find it like this so you look for results summary you look for results summary and you click on the drop down the drop down when you click on the drop down you click on streams right streams so once you click on streams this appears right all of this appears so this is the um, stream result of all the streams in the process right all streams in the process from the feed stream down to the um, product streams right all the streams in the process this is the data sheet for it right so this is the data sheet the process conditions the flow rate and everything as you can find it in result summary right result summary now you find all of it for all the streams for material streams for heat streams right so these are the heat streams in the process and then these are the work streams in the process right so material heat and work can all be found here right so you can assess everything right here from your result summary on that streams right so and you can and all of this data now all of this data can be um can be exported to excel right microsoft excel right? so all you need to do is click on this activated tab here stream summary so you click on stream summary right once you click on stream summary you have it here you have copy all right you have the option to copy all you have the option to um to send to flow sheets right you can send this data to your flow sheet environment but i wouldn't want to do that because it will be um it's quite much right so i need to take a lot of space in the flow sheet environment then you have um send to excel right so you click on send to excel So once you click on send to excel this um environment pops up right and then you can select or deselect the sheets you want exported to excel then you click export tables to excel right so you just click on it and then you type the name you want the document to be saved as so i'm just going to use a random name for this then i click save right so once i click save all the data from here is exported to excel right so the exporting is taking place so once the exporting is done you would um, yeah you will get this notification right so it says open excel file so i click ok and then the excel um software is opened and all the data has been exported so i just click on it and then you can find your data here right so this is all of it so you have your material this is the material sheet right this is the material sheet for your process this is all of it right and then you have your heat sheet also your heat sheet and then you have your worksheet as well that's for work stream and then you have your heat stream sheet then your material stream sheet right so this is how you can actually assess your data from your um, simulation right so going back to the main flow sheet uh, there are a few things you can still do you can decide to um you can decide to make some of your 
some of your process conditions visible visible if you want you can do that by clicking from the modify you can let me see um okay yes so you can actually um, click them right and maybe mass flow for example right so once you do that you get the opportunity to make some of your um some of your um process conditions visible on the flow sheet right so you can actually get to view them right so but then they become quite messy when your process is large so you may not really want to do that right you can also do that for work as well right you can add the um, heat and work values for each of your units that actually have energy requirements you can add your heat and work values to the screen so that it's visible as well right so basically this is how all of this works in aspen right aspen plus now if you want to also add some stream results that are not present here you can do that by clicking this um, diagonal arrow spacing downward right so you can do that and then you can make um, adjustments here so for example you can include work right you can include work and then click ok right and then work becomes visible in your model right so work becomes visible right so if i want to deactivate it i can go back there and then deactivate it right and click ok right? so it's no longer visible in the flow sheet right so basically this is how this actually works right so with this we have come to the end of this particular tutorial right so now um you can also export um your you can also export your um economic analysis data as well right so it also has its own um, option for exports you can export your analysis after you are done right you can export your analysis to excel right so it also works the way the stream export works so that's it right that's basically how these things work so we have come to the end of this particular tutorial right kindly send in your questions using the comment section like this video share with your friends and then subscribe to this channel if you have not done so yet thank you for joining me in this particular tutorial do have a good day